Well, it's that time again. When we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, He was the greatest gift given to all of humanity. And now you can take part in being a gift to others this Christmas season. Now, I'm sure that you know what this is. The Salvation Army Red Kettle provides millions of dollars each year to support people in need. And this bell and this kettle represent hope to so many people. However, the Kettles and the Salvation Army cannot stand alone. They need volunteers just like you. So here's the challenge. Each local Salvation Army office has a kettle coordinator. Now their job is to coordinate the bell ringers, locations, and schedules throughout the Christmas season. Now you can probably imagine that this is a tough job. You don't know the half of it, so let me share with you. Let's say there are 30 locations in your city where kettles will be placed. Each location has 10 hours of coverage. Each 10-hour day is divided into five two-hour shifts. Now that's a minimum of five people per location ringing the bell and monitoring the kettle. That means that the kettle coordinator has to coordinate a minimum of 150 shifts and people across 30 locations every day, six days a week throughout the entire Christmas season. Now, as you can see, this is a huge logistical and organizational challenge. But you can help. You can help by becoming a multiplier. So what is a Salvation Army multiplier? A multiplier is a volunteer, like you, who recruits and schedules the bell ringers and red kettle at a single location for one day. That means you take on the responsibility of coordinating a single location for the kettle coordinator. That way, they only have to coordinate with 30 people a day instead of 150 or more. That means they have fewer contacts to manage and you are easing their burden and fulfilling a valuable need in your community. So if you would like to volunteer for this very important job, let me show you how easy it is to become a multiplier. First, call your local Salvation Army Kettle Coordinator and tell them you would like to cover a location for one day. Now they'll check the schedule and work with you to identify a date and location. Second, using the multiplier form that you can download and print from this website, select the people to cover all of the two-hour shifts. Now these can be friends, or family, co-workers, church members, etc. Third, beside each two-hour shift, fill in the volunteer's name and their cell phone number. Fourth, contact each volunteer, thank them for their willingness to serve, and confirm with them the date, time, location, and responsibilities of their shift. Finally, Post the multiplier form at the red kettle on the day your team volunteers. That way each bell ringer will know who will relieve them when their shift is over. Now as a resource to you, we've provided three documents on this website for you to download and print. The first is a set of instructions that we've covered in this video. You can print it out so you'll remember the process. Also, there are some additional details that you'll want to read to make your job easier. The second is the actual multiplier form. Print a copy of this and post it at your church or your office to solicit volunteers. Or you can use it when you call people and ask them directly for their service. Again, this is also the form you'll post at the kettle on the day that your team volunteers. The third document is a sample multiplier form, all filled out so you can see an example of how it's done. Finally, we recommend that you put yourself down as the alternate bell ringer at the bottom of the multiplier form. Now, why would you be an alternate instead of an actual bell ringer? Unfortunately, sometimes people have emergencies and they have to leave a shift early or 
Some can't make it at all, even after they've committed to. So you need to be on call to fill in as needed. You'll also need to stay in communication with your local kettle coordinator to ensure a smooth handoff of the kettle in the morning and in the evening when you're finished. So take a few minutes to print out the three documents, review each one, and then call your local kettle coordinator to cover a location for a day. Just as Jesus said himself, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Now is your opportunity to take care of the needy right here where you live, just as Jesus Christ instructed us to do so. So I hope that you will become a Salvation Army multiplier and share the hope that Christ brings to all of us. Merry Christmas, and God bless you.